Hey YouTube, it's Hanna Loba. If you want more Moto America content, check out the new and vastly improved Moto America Live Plus app. It's the only place you can catch all the race action in one place all season long. Click the link in the description below. Let's take a look at how everyone's going to grid when we get there. Row number one, it was Rocco Landers. Uh, alongside him was meant to be Rossi Moore on that number 92. That spot was empty. Dominic Doyle uh, starting finishing out the front row with Gus Rodeo, Alessandro DiMario, and Jack Roach on the second row. Avery Dreyer, um, Sean right next to him. Romeo Chiavini rounding out row number three. Ray Hoffman um, and Joe Ett. Joseph Bittner uh, rounding out that last row. So a lot of riders. This is a full field, uh, Roger. It's going to be a lot of action out here. A lot of action. You also see Sonia Lloyd there. Uh, first race was at Daytona coming from uh, the BRT. So it's great to see her here again this weekend. And race number one underway, but there could have been a jump start back there. The rest of the field holding up at the back of the pack, Roger. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Something there with the, the glitch on the start. Some guys went super early, and you can see guys at the back of the grid didn't even go. The red flag's going to come out. Uh, there was an issue there at the start. It was just I've never really seen that before where some riders go and then at the back of the grid, but it can happen. The light, if that's what happened, the light can have a glitch. The lights will come up on the left-hand side of your screen. As soon as they come on, they're going to go off. It is time for race one to restart here at Michelin Raceway Road Atlanta. And our pole setter, Rocco Landers, was out early. Yeah, great start for Rocco. And he talked about that, wanting to get a, a good start. Gus Rodeo also getting a really good start there on the second row. And uh, these guys, it's really tricky coming through this this little chicane on, on the first lap at the start of the race because when you're behind, you can't see where the curbs are. Hoping to get closer as you see that gap starting to space out just a little bit between those front three. And these two can't get in a battle and slow themselves up and, and let that top three get away. Great drive yeah. out of the last corner by Gus Rodeo, able to be able to make the pass. You see Rocco Landers now finds himself in third as Dominic Doyle was able to get by. Does Rocco have an And Dominic Doyle in second place right now being able to hold off Rocco Landers. He was able to find a second in track at time this morning in that second session of qualifying. So the changes that they made overnight and the work that the team has put in, it's really turned into giving Dominic an opportunity to go out there and fight for a win. And we talked about before the race, getting back into the championship battle. This is what Dominic needs to do. Be out here, be consistent and get some good results as we see Rocco Rocco looking on the inside, but Dominic Doyle now is going to have his turn at the front. Now he's able to extend that gap. We haven't seen a gap quite that big um, over the opening three laps, but we still have five laps to go, and we've seen how many lead changes we've had in the opening three, so it's still anybody's game as we have four riders that are all right there ready to capitalize at any point in time as Rocco is now looking to the inside of Gus Rodeo, and he makes the move. He's moving himself up into second, and now it's Dominic Doyle right in front of him. And Rocco yeah. just did the fastest lap of the race, which was only a tenth quicker than Dom, and just Rocco bike, just the, the Suzuki really handles well through this part of the track. You can see Rocco looking around, trying to make passes through here. This is certainly where he is stronger, and you can tell right now he's looking, going underneath Dominic Doyle. He gets the pass completed, and now Rocco Landers finds himself back into the lead, but Dominic Doyle is right there. I'm, it was really impressive how Rocco was able to make that pass, but also get a good job out of, out of turn five here. Through six and into seven, and, you know, this is kind of where, where Rocco has been struggling a little bit, is getting these runs out of the, the corner, and he's got a little bit of a, a gap, and we'll see, uh, you know, the top speed. They go down this long back straightaway, and for Rocco, you know, he sat behind Dominic Doyle and Gus Rodeo also, so he was able to see where they were struggling, where he was a bit better, but he also knows what he's been dealing with is Dominic Doyle now coming on the inside of Rocco. Rocco's going to shut the door on him. I think Rocco knows his best chance is to try to make the breaks. We see Dom getting a really good run through there. Over the hill, that's a tough pass to make. Alessandro DeMario to be in this battle with these three guys in front of him. Guess Rodeo, you saw a look over his shoulder. He continues to do that. When you don't have a whole lot of racing left and you want to understand what the gap is, how significant is it when it's as close? And you see Rocco able here, I think, you know, Rocco's been super strong on the brakes, but so is Gus Rodeo. Dominic's going to go from first to third. It can change that quick here in Twins Cup. 
All right, he's coming to the white flag as they cross at the start finish line. We have one lap remaining. There are four riders that are right there to take the top three steps of the podium. Rocco Landers is leading. You see on the left hand side of your screen, that is Rocco Landers' pit as his crew is watching right now. He's been able to drive through the top three. Terry Vance is in the picture. You see him in the black sunglasses and everyone watching to see what Rocco is able to do. If he can hold off the rest of the field, you see the gap that he's now built, Roger. Yeah, this is he's did this every lap just so fast all the way through here. A little wide there in five. But it, these guys have got to get a little bit closer. It looks like if he can stay this far ahead, I think he'll break the break the draft. And Alessandro DeMario actually last lap was the fastest lap of the race. And with the speed that DeMario has, you think he will be able to get around Gus Rodeo. Gus has been second for a lot of this race, but DeMario's right there. He's right there, and he's going to be in the draft, and we'll see if these two guys can really tuck in. They're going to try to get as tight as possible, the best run they can out of turn seven. But it looks like Rocco has made the made the break, and see Alessandro DeMario able to make that drafting pass. They're right alongside each other right now as they look and Gus Rodeo able to hold him off. Dominic Doyle also looking to the inside. He has closed up that position from fifth place, fourth place, now looking to see if he can find a spot on the podium as they come down the hill. Rocco Landers, you see, he made work of it, and he's pretty comfortable right now as he comes through turn 12. Rocco Landers will take the checkered flag, and he will win this first race. And it was Gus Rodeo able to cross the line in second. Alessandro DeMario rounding out our top three in the podium. Look at the excitement of Rocco Landers. Yeah. He's not happy with it, but obviously it's great for him for the championship. And, uh, you know, in those days you don't have it, you can't throw it down the road. And then Alessandro DeMario giving the credit to his team, saying that there was no way he would even be here without all the hard work that those guys put in overnight. He missed a lot of the track time, started the race in fifth, but able to end up on the podium. That's got to give you motivation going into race two tomorrow. Just knowing that you can run with the leaders gives you just so much, you know, confidence and momentum and for him able to sit behind those guys for for most of the race and just go to school and learn and see where they're better than me or where they're doing things different is going to be